okay now we will see a problem on the hydraulic coefficients using the how, uh, when they given the values uh, according to the experimental calculations so let's write down the first of all the problem that is a vertical sharp edge orifice 120 mm in diameter 120 mm in dia it discharging water at the rate of 98.2 liters per second under a constant head of 10 meters a point on the jet measured from the vena contractor of the jet has coordinates 4.5 meters horizontal and 0.54 meters vertical find the following for the orifice so the first one is they ask us to find out coefficient of velocity cv and second one coefficient of discharge cd and third one coefficient of contraction cc so this is the problem let's read once a sh vertical sharp edged orifice 120 mm in dia that means they given the dia of the orifice so that we can calculate the area of the orifice discharging uh, water at the rate of 98.2 liters per second that means they given the discharge value under a constant head h value they given 10 meters a point on the jet measured from the vena contractor of the jet has coordinates that means they given the vena contractor to point where the point lies so x y coordinates they given x coordinate as 4.5 meters and y coordinate as 0.54 meters so they ask us to find out the hydraulic coefficients so let's solve the problem so first they given dia is equal to 120 mm that means 0.12 meters so from this area is equal to pi by 4 0.12 square this gives us 0.01131 meter square and discharge they given q is equal to 98.2 liters per second so this gives 98 i am converting it to meter cube per second so 1 meter cube equal to 1000 liters so 98.2 by 1000 will gives us the value in meter cube per second 0.0982 meter cube per second and the h value they given as 10 meters so and they given the horizontal distance x is equal to 4.5 meters and vertical distance y is equal to 0.54 meters so we calculate uh, if we want to calculate the cv we have to know the actual velocity and theoretical velocity let's find out first of all theoretical velocity so v theoretical is equal to nothing but root 2gh this formula we already know so root 2 multiplied by g value 9.81 multiplied by h value 10 this gives us the value 14 meter per second so next we have to calculate the q theoretical so if we want to know the q theoretical area multiplied by v theoretical gives us the q theoretical so area we already calculated area of the orifice here so i am directly uh, writing those values 0.01131 multiplied by v theoretical so that is 0.01131 multiplied by 14 gives us 0.1583 meter cube per second so this is the q theoretical next first now we can calculate the cv so cv is equal to what actual velocity uh, through the experimental determination then they given the xy coordinates the formula is x by root 4 yh so this formula derivation we already saw in the previous session so let's directly write down the values so x they given as 4.5 meters by root of 4 multiplied by y they given as 0.45 sorry 0.54 
multiplies by h. h they given as 10 meters. So by solving this, we can get the 0 0.968. Second one. So next we have to find out the CD. So CD is nothing but the actual discharge by theoretical discharge. So actual discharge we already calculated here. So that is the, uh, they already given in the problem that is 0 0.0982. And theoretical discharge here we calculated, we got the value 0 0.1583. So from this we get a value of 0 0.62. And third one we have to find out the CC. So we know the relation. CD equal to CC multiplies by CV. So they, from that CC is equal to CD by CV. So CD we got as 0 0.62. By CV we got as 0 0.968. By solving this we get 0 0.64. So from the given uh, problem we calculated the hydraulic coefficients using the given experimental values.